Namaskar dear students this video will focus on the neat mds exam preparation i will be covering all the image based and the picture based multiple choice question so stay tuned till the end i will cover the fixed partial danger that is fpd in this now here are some tips and tricks as i discussed in the previous video also the first is revise the topic with images that will help you to learn more and retain more second always go through the standard books now the books for fpd are rosenstiel and schillenberg that you can follow solve as many questions as possible this is the golden mantra to follow so let's get started with some mcqs question number 1 in the given figure below which root configuration will serve as a better abutment for fpd root form a root form b both a and b will be same root configuration has no effect yes the answer will be a that is root form a if you see carefully the root form a has greater facial lingual dimension which makes it a superior abutment as compared to that in the b with the circular in cross section root form a mainly is present in the maxillary premolars while the b you will find in the maxillary central incisor question number 2 the part of the fpd shown in the figure marked a is the options are a connector b abutment c pontic and d retainer yes the answer is d retainer retainer is a part of the bridge which is cemented to an abutment tooth there are three parts of the fpd as we can see in the picture the retainer pontic and the connector pontic is the replacement tooth in the fpd and connector is which joins the retainer and the pontic abutment is not the part of the fpd it is the tooth which supports the bridge or the fpd question number 3 the picture below shows the partially edentulous maxillary arch if you are planning for a fpd which type of connector you will plan on the patient's right side options are a rigid connector b non rigid connector on the distal of first premolar c non rigid connector on the mesial of first premolar d non rigid connector on the mesial of first molar yes the answer is b that is non rigid connector on the distal of first premolar first premolar here is the pier abutment as the edentulous space is present on both the sides because it lies in the middle of the span they act as the fulcrum for the destructive forces so we plan a non rigid connector on the distal of portion of the pier abutment which acts as a stress relief point what if we are placing on the mesial aspect it will lead to the unseating of the connector because there is always a mesial movement of the teeth question number 4 the ideal abutments required for the conventional fpd in the following case are a lateral incisor and first premolar b central incisor lateral incisor and the first premolar c lateral incisor first premolar and the second premolar d any of the above yes our answer is b central incisor lateral incisor and the first premolar as we can see in the picture it is a canine missing case fpd replacing canines can be difficult because the canine often lies outside the interabutment axis so the prospective abutments are lateral incisor and the first premolar in this the lateral incisor is the weakest tooth in the entire arch and the first premolar is the weakest posterior tooth so that is why we go for the central incisor lateral incisor and the first premolar now if the question is they ask you the ideal treatment or management then we will go for the implants question number 5 the incorporation of the features shown in the figure during the tooth preparation for fpd serves for the choices are a greater retention b preserves the tooth structure c structural durability and d marginal integrity 
Yes, our answer is C, that is structural durability. Now, this is the functional cusp bevel. It is a part of the occlusal reduction. It allows the bulk of the material, which is important to withstand the forces of occlusion. This property is called as the structural durability. Two things you have to keep in mind for the functional cusp bevel. First, as from the name, it is always given on the functional or the supporting cusp. And second, it is 45 degree inclined or parallel to the opposing surface. Question number six, which component of implant is labeled as A in the figure? The options are A, healing screw, B, cover screw, C, implant collar or D, abutment. Yes, the answer is B, that is the cover screw. Let us know the parts of the implant. The first is the fixture, the body of the implant. Second is the implant collar. Third is the implant abutment interface where it will be connected. And this, the yellow portion is the cover screw that will be held in the implant after placing the implant in the surgery one. Question number seven. The impression tray shown in the figure is used for which impression technique? A. Putty wash technique. B. Single mix technique. C. Double mix technique. D. Triple tray technique. Yes, the answer is D. That is triple tray technique. Triple tray technique uses the dual arch trays. So it is also called as the dual arch impression technique. Now, polyether is the material of choice used with these kind of trays so that it can compensate the flexibility of the dual arch trays. Question number eight. The image shown below shows which type of die system? A. Straight double pin system. B. Curved double pin system. C. Pindic system. Or D. Dialog tray system. Yes, the answer is D, that is the dialog tray system. As we can see in the image, it is like a special tray used to pour the cast. It has multiple components which can be assembled as well as dismantled if required, as we can see in the image. It has orientation groove on the inner aspect and these grooves are obtained on the base of the cast when it is poured. And these grooves, they actually help as a guide to do the dissectioning. Question number nine. The figure below shows which pontic design? A. Fish belly pontic. B. Peril pontic. C. Egg pontic. Or D. Saddle pontic. Yes, the answer is B. Peril pontic. Peril pontic is the other name of the modified sanitary pontic or the arc fixed partial denture. If we see the image, the gingival surface, it is concave mesiodistally and convex facio-lingually, giving the tissue surface of the pontic hyperbolic paraboloid. Question number 10. The image shown below shows which type of dye preparation system. A. Straight double pin system. B. Curved double pin system. C. Pindex system. Or D. Dialog tray system. Yes, the answer is C. Pindex system. Pindex system is a post pour dye preparation system. It has a red pilot light lamp on the top. As we can see in the image, the red pilot pointer, it acts as a guide while drilling. And the entire platform below is spring mounted and when pressed down automatically it starts the drill which will project through the slot. Question number 11. The figure below shows missing central incisor which is the most aesthetic pontic design for such case. A. Conical pontic. B. Modified ridge lap. C. Ovate pontic. Or D. Saddle pontic. 
Yes, the answer is C. That is the ovate pontic. Now go through the question again. If normally we consider, we will go for the modified ridge lap for central incisor. But as it has been asked, the most aesthetic pontic, then we will go for the ovate pontic because its emergence from the ridge just appears identical to that of the natural teeth. So it is the most aesthetic pontic. Question number twelve. The minimum occlusal gingival thickness of the pontic should be options are A 2 mm, B 3 mm, C 4 mm or D 5 mm. Yes, the answer is B 3 mm. For adequate thickness, if we see this picture, it is a picture of a sanitary pontic or a hygienic pontic. It is a non mucosal contact pontic. So at least 2 mm above it should be present from the residual ridge so that there is adequate space for cleaning and second the minimum thickness of this kind of pontic should be 3 millimeter for the adequate strength of the pontic question number 13 the type of connector shown in the image is indicated in a periodontally compromised second pyre abutment c diastema D tilted abutment. So our answer will be C that is diastema. If you see the picture carefully it is a picture of loop connectors which are required in diastema cases so that the space is maintained. Okay, the connector they consist of a loop on the lingual aspect of the prosthesis that connects the adjacent retainers or the pontics. Question number 14. The figure below shows which post system A carbon post, B glass fiber post, C zirconia post or D custom post. Answer is B the glass fiber post. As we can see the picture it, it shows the glass fiber post. Now this is the carbon post it will be blackish or grayish in color dark gray. Now this is the zirconia post it is made by CAD CAM. And this is the customized metal post which is uh, fabricated by the casting of the wax pattern which is formed in the canal. Question number 15. The pontic design shown in the figure is conical pontic, B bullet pontic, C heart pontic, D all of the above. Yes, the answer is D all of the above. The conical pontic which is also called as the egg shaped pontic, bullet pontic or the heart pontic is made convex and has only one point of contact at the center of the ridge. This is mainly given in mandibular posterior teeth where the aesthetic is not so important. And this type of design is unsuitable for the broad residual ridges. Question number 16. Which post system shown below shows the least retention? A, A post system, B, B post system, C, C post system or D all show equal retention? Yes, the answer is C. That is the C post system which is the tapered post system. Now look at the figures. A is the parallel post system. B is the threaded or the active post system and C is the tapered post system. And if we talk about the retention, the tapered post has the least retention while the active or the threaded that is the B post system here will show the maximum retention. Question number 17. All the following statements are true in relation to the figure below except a. The electrode must be in motion while using this. B. 5 to 10 seconds of rest is needed between the applications. C. The tissue should be moist during the procedure. D. It can be used safely in the patients with pacemaker. Yes, our answer is D. That is, this is a electrosurgery unit used for gingival displacement and it is contraindicated in the patients with pacemaker. So the statement D is false. Question number 18. Which FPD design is shown in the figure below? A. Non-rigid connector. B. Telescopic crown and coping. C. Cross pin and wing pontic. 
D. Dovetail pond tech. Yes, the answer is C. This is a cross pin and wing pond tech. It is a special design which is used for the tilted molars. Question number 19. The figure below shows the set of drills used for preparing A. Removal of the root canal filling material B. Preparation of the canals C. Preparation of the coronal tooth structure and D. Fill the canal with the resin cement for cementation Yes, our answer is B. That is, these are the set of piezo reamers which are available in six sizes and they are used for preparing the canal while doing the post and core. Now, if we talk about the option D, the lentulo spirals are used to fill the canal with the cement. Question number 20. The picture below shows the potential fracture location of the post core width. A. Fiberglass reinforced composite post B. Gold post core C. Nichrome post core or D. All of the above Yes, the answer is A. That is the fiberglass reinforced composite post. With the fiberglass post and core, the fracture usually occurs in the cervical part of the crown. Okay, as we can see in this picture, while the post with the metal post or the more rigid post which have high modulus, the radicular fracture occurs. That means the root fractures where the stresses are at maximum. Question number 21. The figure below shows A. Rochet Bridge B. Maryland Bridge C. Virginia Bridge or D. Cast Mesh FPD Yes, our answer is A, that is a Rochet bridge. It is a resin bonded bridge. All these are the resin bonded bridges and the picture shown is of the Rochet bridges. It has wing like retainers with funnel shaped perforations through them to enhance the resin retention. Question number 22. The groove with post preparation shown in the figure below is made for A, provides retention. B. Rotational resistance C. Stress distribution or D. It is a seating groove Yes, our answer is B. Rotational resistance It provides resistance to the rotational forces especially in the circular canals and it is mainly given on the thickest walls Question number 23 The picture below shows A. Rochet bridge B. Maryland bridge C. Spring cantilever bridge or D. Cantilever FPD Yes, the answer is C. That is the spring cantilever bridge. Now we can see in the picture the central incisor is the pontic which is retained by the canine and this is the loop connector which are used. Question number 24. The following figure shows which type of dental implant. A. Subperiosteal implant B. Transosteal implant C. Endosseous implant or D. Endodontic implant Yes, our answer is B. That is the transosteal implant. These are the implants that penetrate entirely through the bone. They are also called as transmandibular implant or the mandibular staple implants. Question number 25. The type of impression technique for the dental implant shown in the figure below is A. Closed tray implant level B. Open tray implant level C. Direct abutment level or D. Indirect abutment level Our answer is B. That is the open tray implant level. The impression for the dental implants can be at implant level or at abutment level. The implant level can be further open tray which is also called as the pickup or the closed tray that is the transfer type. The abutment level impressions can be direct or indirect. Now if we talk about this picture, it shows a open tray impression technique as we can see the holes through it. This technique is mainly used when many implants are placed with different angulations. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching.
Please like the video and comment below. That keeps me motivated. Subscribe the channel if you are still new. Wish you success.